Tunumbu to Kuka. Nigeria owes you depths of gratitude. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. All progressive Congress presidential candidate Senator Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has sent a special goodwill message to the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Bishop Matthew Ko Hazan Kuka, on the occasion of the latest 70th birthday celebration. In a letter he personally signed and made available to newsmen in Abuja, the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate described Kuka as a voice of conscience in the country. While he acknowledged the prominent clergy contributions to national development and progress in the over four decades of pastoral work, Tenebo noted that for over four decades, Kuka's homilies as a cleric as well as contributions as a public intellectual has enriched the national discourse and highlighted the role of morality in the public space. His statement read in part, in quote, My Lord Bishop, your life has been one of devotion and duty to God and humanity. As such, your life speaks of humility and compassion. The influence and respect that is yours go beyond the Catholic Church and even your position as the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese. You are a voice of conscience in and for all Nigeria. For over four decades, your homilies as a cleric as well as your contributions as a public intellectual have enriched the national discourse and highlighted the role of morality in the public space. Seminal articles you have authored demonstrate your abiding concern for the poor and vulnerable. It is this concern that has led you to take national assignments such as being a member of the Human Rights Violation Investigation Commission, Oputa Panel, Chief Mediator, Shell Ogoni Peace Initiative, and currently as the Secretary of National Peace Committee. This nation owes you more than a debt of this nation owes you more than a debt of gratitude. However, knowing the type of person you are, you will never ask for payment of that debt. You will simply continue to give more. I join millions of Nigerians, family and friends to celebrate this milestone that is your 70th birthday. I wish you well. May you continue to serve God and lead your flock to the best of your abilities. May you always be a voice of conscience and service in the land. Tunimbo Tikuka, Tunimbo owes you, Nigeria owes you depth of gratitude. Well, hmm. Sometimes, eh, when you hear this, our politicians speak, and eh, sometimes you'll be so amazed, that, eh? So these people know good things, sha. Hmm. My dear, you get what's in the my mouth. If I talk, I'm yawa go gas. <laughs> you get one talk within my mouth. If I talk, I'm yawa go gas. But just let, let's just move on. So, ah, uh, um, Bishop Kuka celebrated his 70th birthday not too long ago. We wish him a very, very, should I say, a very happy birthday. We wish him more yes, you know. Let um, his uh, more grace to his elbow and may God continue to bless the work of his hands. If you know Bishop Puka, Bishop Puka is a voice of peace, is a voice of conscience. Bishop Puka is the kind of person that if he see what he no good, no matter the person, he go talk. That's his own, and that is how we are supposed to be as a people. This is how we are supposed to be as a people. What is not right is not right. They say, if in the presence of a good man, evil thrives, then you should be able to question that good man. What do they do where this kind of thing they happen? We're supposed to be asking ourselves that question. Why Nigeria is like this today is because a lot of people see what is not supposed to be. That uh, keeps happening and they refuse to say anything about it. Why? I don't care attitude. They're not my family members. You know, consign me. It's not my business, you know. You know, they give poor money for my pocket. So what thing consign me? That is how some people eat after they know consign. That is why Nigeria did the situation where we did today. That is why Nigeria did the situation where we did today. May Reverend Hassan Kuka live long to continue uniting Nigerians, both Christians and Muslims. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. So, Tenemo knows that Nigeria owes Kuka a depth of gratitude. And yet, Tenemo didn't choose a Christian running mate as a way of paying back. Keep writing good way messages. Let us see if anything can change. <laughs> ha, some people will be savage, yeah. But it is true. These politicians, do you think that they don't know better thing? Ah, believe you me, they know. Why do you think that children are abroad studying? 
Why do you think that they go for medical? Because they want the best. It be like say they know better thing. They just want the best for themselves alone. That is just the truth. All right. Reverend Coca is an exemplary cleric, unlike cleric, flaunting wealth with fake prophecies. Hmm. 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 Well, they say yet yeah, nothing Muslims are hosting his life every day with terror. Because in this society we are. And when I mean society, I mean country, I mean the time, I mean the century we are in. People cling, as in, it'd it be like say the truth, they pepper them for body. They don't want to hear the truth. If you're somebody who says the truth, believe you me, you have problems. And they tell you, you will keep having problems. But the thing is, say, that your truth, where you speak, will always set you free. That is just the truth. All right. Is can a political party stop introducing religion into politics? I don't understand. I would like to understand where this person's angle is coming from, Shah. The Dab Nigerians owe Bishop Uka is simple. Do not vote any APC candidate in 2023, including Tunumbu himself. Mm. Bishop Kuka represents the voice of the voiceless and the downtrodden of this country. He will call black, black, not minding whose ox is God. Exactly. If you're like me, your head they touch heaven. If you like, be the president. If you do what is not right, Bishop Kuka, I've known him and I've, you know, followed him for a while. He would tell you as he used to be, in plain black and white, this is what he do. You know, he will address you as he be. He's not going to paint it or sugarcoat it. He ain't going to tell you as he be. I'm not saying tell you as he be is a very vulgar manner. He will pattern his words to direct the message. He is not going to paint it. He's not going to say because this person is a president. Make a no go talk this thing. Make a overlook. No. He is outspoken and bold. I pray that God will uphold and spare you and spare your life to witness many bad days. You will live up to 100 years before leaving the world. Happy birthday to our indefatigable, honorable, and blessed Archbishop. Happy birthday to him. Bishop Kuka has always been a shining example to all. Happy birthday to you, sir. I always enjoy any seminar he speaks. And let me ask us this question. I hope we are going to be able to emulate him. Standing by the truth, no matter who you are saying the truth to, no matter where you are saying the truth, you should stand by the truth. It's an example. Many of us, we turn a blind eye to the truth. Many of us, we turn a blind eye and things happen. And we cannot be good citizens, so neither can we even be good leaders like this. So it's an example of how, permits me to say, if we have a leader that comes out and feel for the people and speak the truth to power, Nigeria would not be a better country. Or what do you think? May I feel so. And I know so. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news.